goats back in my garage. Okay, so my damage is still here. I can't get rid of it. I've tried. I think the only way to get rid of it would be to remove it <laughs> and start over with it. Um, I think it's slightly cocky, but I'm going to leave it because it is a truck and I don't care. So um, it's a truck. If, if you're worried about your truck, don't own a truck. Now, here's what we need to do. We need an interior for said green machine. Um, I'm going to call it the Brussels sprout, uh, but we only got 60 bucks and that's definitely not enough. So we're going to do a few jobs, see what we can find. Hopefully we can do a little bit of a... A wash. To, here we go. Take this job. All right. Excellent. Okay. Okay. There we go. Are you out there now, bud? Oh, sweet. 80 bucks. I think we're going to need about a grand to do the interior. Um, So we will get a grand as fast as possible here. And then we'll drive down to the other town and get, uh, get all fixed up. Okay. So, cause like, I still am not sure if I have gas in the thing or not. I, I'm not sure if it actually has fuel in it, um, I can't tell, but we're going to give it a shot. There we go. Cause every time I jump in it, it looks like it's either full or no fuel. So we're going to have to figure this out, but every time I've been filling it, it says it's filling. So I'm not sure what the, the damage is there, but if it isn't filling or maybe it's full and I'm just, you know, being stupid, I have no idea. Okay, let's get this dirt off this car, though, because this is 80 bucks just waiting to happen right here. 80 bucks to wash a car, man. Like, they should make it so you have to wash the interior, too, with, like, a scrub brush. That would that would make more sense. 80 bucks for a car wash. Seems crazy to me. All right. This is almost washed up. Just like a few careers I've seen in Hollywood. Ugh. Looking at you, Leah Michelle. All right, let me see. We'll get that off there. Get this front dirt off. Washing jobs are easy. Easy peasy. Complete. There we go. All right. I like this. This is good. Because look, when I jump in my truck. Eh, uh, right? So here's the fuel gauge is there, right? I think that's, that's, that's empty. On the left, so... Okay, let's turn this in here. Yeah, it looks like it's full. So I'm gonna go with that. But we need door we need door cards. We need a new seat. Ah, uh, we need a uh, a ceiling. We need new uh, a mirror. Oh, we should probably get the internal mirror. That much we don't have. Um. Oh yeah, I missed the bolts on the top of here. I totally miss them. Normally these guys. Normally people always tell me I miss bolts and I don't. But this one's true. I didn't notice these. These ones I didn't notice, so they're in there now. I would like the other style mirrors that don't have the big arms on them, but that's okay, too. So, I'm going to take this and put this here, like this. All right, excellent. I'm going to try to rebondo this to make sure I didn't miss any potential bondo areas. I think it's fine for now. Ugh, I don't think it's ever going to be perfect again. <laughs> I had an accident the first time I drove it. Okay, fuel line looks worn. Do I have to take this job? I'm not sure how much a fuel line is. Let's take this job. Okay, let's see. So... What are you? And you need a fuel line, eh? Well, that should be easy enough to do. All right, no problem. Do, 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 do. Taking off your fuel line. Uh, gonna make my fuel line mine. Okay. Off you come. Out you go. You can go uh, put you there for now. Drop you. Let's go get a fuel line. Now, if you want to save money, you can go to the other store. But, okay, what's what car was that? It was the coupe, right? Well, it is now. All right, so engine. Fuel line's only 16 bucks. How much do I get paid for this job? I, I guess let's put this on. Boop. And I need this. And we are going to tighten that up. Easy peasy. Okay. Oh, 27 bucks. I paid 16. I made $11. Jeez, what a waste. How much do I get this? What a waste of time that job is. And I got two for that. So I made like $13 on that. So fuel line jobs are not really worth it. As you can see. All right, we'll see what else we got here. Can you check the shock absorbers? Probably. But I don't think I can afford new ones. My starter's not... You know, I might be able to take this job. $197 reward for this. All right, how much is a starter? Well, let's find out. 
All right. Come here, you. Hopefully it's not 157 bucks. Or 158, I should say. Take that out. Why can't I? Oh, there it is. Perfect. And out comes the starter. All right, so this is a, another coupe, so that's cool. I got to go to work on it before even looking at the car. <laughs> so where is the starter? Starter. You know what would be nice? A search function on this where you could search like starter, and then you could find all the starters, and it would tell you what it was for. Ah, here we go. 93 bucks. Not bad, not bad. 93 bucks for a starter is pretty good. Last starter I installed was uh, almost 300. So, and that was a, that was a while ago. All right, here we go. This is in. Got to hook up those the wire and the and put the two bolts back in it. So there we go. And this, perfect. Okay. How much does this pay? 197. So, we made 100 bucks on that. That's not $100 starter job. That's not bad. Plus we get the, the sellable part of this, which is another eight. So we got about a, about $110 on on that one. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. What is interior stuff worth in like the, the car? Just, just out of curiosity. 32 seats are a hundred bucks a pop. Yeah. So we're going to need quite a bit of money. Like these are 150 for the door cards. Yeah. Like we're going to need a few, few dollars here. I think. To finish this up. Cause I'm going to get rid of that seat too. All right, well, you know, we'll uh, we'll see if we can find her. So we need to do some more work, is, is my point. Skip. So let's run. How much money do I have now? Two sixty nine. Five hundred thirteen dollars. What am I doing with this? Oh yeah, it's 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 just dead over there. All right, well, let's see if we can get up on the hoist. I hope I can. I hope I can afford to fix this. It's worth five hundred dollars though. So. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to be able to get to, I'm not sure I'm going to make, make it, but I'm hoping to get to the town today. Let me, let me in your car, dude. All right, here we go. Close this up. Let me see. See if this will, it probably runs just fine. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, she runs fine. Let's get her up on the hoist. And see what we can see. All right, here we go. Ugh. Squeeze. Okay, here we go. Put this in place, maybe. Oh, geez, that was real tight, man. Probably should have uh, brought them in a little bit. <laughs> there we go. It's just that suspension's so low in the back. All right, let's uh, let's see what's going on. All right. Now, what did you say? Something's wrong with the suspension. Obviously, you have a collapsed Springer, too. Oh, that shock absorber shot. Maybe. Let me see here. Um, the job info. Something's wrong with the handling. Got it. So, it looks like you may have a bad... It looks like you, you obviously have a bad shock absorber. That's... that's I get, Oh, God. Am I touching it with my head? Is that what's going on? Maybe we should get that up a little higher. Okay, what do we got going on up front here? That tube looks all right. It may just be the rear. It didn't look like the front was collapsed, but we definitely have at least one collapsed spring and probably both. So let's um grab the spring compressor and we'll pop these springs out and just take a look at them. Okay. Yeah, that spring's broken. Let's check this one. And that spring's broken. So we need two rear springs for a coupe, plus it looks like a shock absorber. So let's pull that shock absorber off. And that's if I haven't missed something else. Shock absorber. All right. So I'm not seeing anything else. So two springs and a uh, shock absorber? Sure. Uh, suspension for the coupe. So two sp rear springs and a rear shock absorber. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's put this in first. Perfect. Okay. 
There's that. Oh, grab the spring compressor because you need this. You can't put the springs in unless you're holding the spring compressor. There we go. And there we go. Okay, let's try that. Is this is this completed? Oh, it's not. Huh. Steering rack looks good. Did I did I miss a bad shock or something? Let me see. Is that shock bad? I or can I not tell? All the control arms look good. Steering rack looks good. These control arms look good. Brakes look good. I'm not sure. Axle looks good. So does that one. I don't see anything else. The only thing I can think. All right, hang on a sec here. I might have to bring this down some. Let me see here. Okay, I was thinking maybe the hubs were shot, but they look all right. Both these shocks look good. What am I missing here? Okay, upper control arms, they look good. Lower control arms, they look good. Pan hard bar looks good. Huh. Wonder if I should take it for a drive. Cause like it 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 seems fine to me. Oh my god, is this gonna do this now? Because it's like it shouldn't let the tire off if it won't let you put it back on. <laughs> it fucking dink. Jesus. <sighs> Maybe we got a collapse spring in the front. Let's, uh, that could be it. Let's, could you just move, please? Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Maybe, maybe it's got a collapse spring up front. I'll, uh, I'll put it up. We'll find out. We'll, 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 we'll dig it up. Okay. But whatever it is, it isn't obvious. I also thought about the steering rack, but it looks pretty good. That can go on. There we go. Yeah. All right, so we'll put this back on. So let's just pull the front springs and we'll find out. That would be the easiest way to do it. Maybe it doesn't sag as much in the front. Oh, yeah, that looks broken. Look at that. Oh yeah, I didn't pfft, didn't even suspect that. It didn't look too bad when I got in it. All right, front springs it is. There's one. And there's two. Perfect. Okay, so this should be done now, right? 
completed. All right, excellent. We got 600 bucks now, though. That's pretty good. I don't think that's quite enough to get in all the interior stuff we need. Um, now, I could buy it from here, but I really want to go to the interior shop and see if I can find, like, a, a better matching color, which I believe is in town. So we're going to go to town, which is across the bridge and around the... You know, what am I doing? I can just go out here. Jeez, and crackers. Ever since I got this big shop, I've been super confused about where I'm supposed to go half the time. There we go, and... Let's just see what it would cost here. So from I'm not sure if it costs more money there, but let's see. So just go to the F-150 interior. So those are 60. It'll be 60 bucks. We can buy the mirror here for 25, so I'll do that. Okay, so there's 60 bucks, 80, 140, 80 is what, like 220 and then another so it's like 350 maybe we've already got a dashboard we need two seat sets 450 550 yeah like we're already running pretty slim on on cash at that point but i think we'd have enough if we went uh but i think it'd be nice to just get one more thing before we do what are you you, you bolts are every time i do this i get the wrong thing Uh, I'm going to assume screwdriver because I can't quite see it. <laughs> All right. Where's my screwdriver? Pry bar. Ha. Huh. Ah, here we go. We'll put that on. Perfect. Okay, so now we got that in place. That's great. Uh, let's do at least one more job, get a few extra bucks. Let me see. No, I don't want to do windshield wiper blades. That's boring. My starter is not turning. That's an extra hundred bucks right there. I'll take this job. What are you? Okay, let me see. So you're a Neve, eh? Neve, engine, starter... Excellent. Okay, we'll bring that out there. Then we'll come back and grab the wrench. Swap this out, and in the morning, we will go get parts for our car. Ooh, unless they're more expensive in different colors. I, I don't know. Hopefully not, because it, it's awful when it's more expensive. All right, here we go. Ooh, wrong side. Wrong side. Here we go. Okay, let's see here. We're going to loosen up. There's one. There's two. There's three. Starter out. New starter in. Okay, now we'll tighten it up. So there's one, two, three. Okay. And that will get us, there we go, $700. So, and then we'll get rid of this for a few bucks. So let's sleep till morning and then we'll hop out uh, and go see about getting an interior because interiors are fun. Yes. By the way, we had a very first successful thank Miss stream with the made 150 bucks almost. Such a good day. Such a good day. All right, so... Ah, uh, sleep, yes. Perfect. Yay, raining. All right, so let's uh, hop an old, uh, the old Brussels sprout here, and we'll take her off. And we'll go get some panels and stuff. Should we bring the wrench is my question. Now, you know what? We'll bring it all home and install it here. Okay, what is happening? Wait. Okay, we've been playing Zero Sievert, which I'm enjoying, but it's hard. And I was getting super mad at it, and it was great. All right. Going to town in my little uh, six-cylinder truck here. So if I remember correctly, and they haven't moved it, Town is over here, and it's it's to the right once you get across the bridge. So that's where we're going. You know what? She doesn't drive too bad. She's not very fast, but, you know, she's a truck. And she only has a four-speed. 
wonder if we get a five speed in here. That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> didn't she didn't she come with the transmission though? Transmission was in it when I bought it, wasn't it? Oh no. Okay, wait a minute. Isn't that the road I need to take? I thought it was like right, right across the bridge. There we go. Come on, baby. I don't honestly remember. Someone said this sounded like a V8. I don't hear it, but <laughs> it's definitely it doesn't sound like a V8 to me. It sounds like a real rattle trap of a six bagger. Hey, that's the old gas station. What's up, bud? You think there'd at least be signs to town, you know? There probably isn't. I'm missing them. Hey, there's a wheat field here. All right, where's town? I I I I hope I'm not lost. I feel like I've gotten lost somewhere. That or town's a lot further away than I remember. Yeah, it's a very lovely neighborhood out here. Well, what's this? This is like a, a stop sign here. Oh no, it's not. It's a it's a speed sign. Oh, there's town. Nice. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Okay, so I know I've, I've never been here to get stuff. I've only ever been here once, and that was just because I was trying it out, seeing what was new. See what what way. Now I'm not sure where the interior thing is. There's apparently an interior shop. This does not look it. Now, if we were smart, we'd move to town here. Actually, we could if we wanted to, I guess. Okay, this is just the, the convenience store. Is this the interior? This looks like town. Oh, wait a minute. What's that over there? Like I said, I've only ever been here once, so church over there. I'm here. The best for your car. Sweet. All right, let's turn her off here. All right, let's see what's going on. Friggin' rain. At least wash the car off. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, what's this? These are all performance. This is definitely not an interior shop. Unless there's a catalog here. Hang on. Parts catalog. Interiors. Uh, For the F1. Okay. So there isn't... Maybe, maybe there isn't an interior shop here. Or maybe they only have that color for the F100. Let me double check on the other vehicles to see if they have specialty things. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, let's try the Lada here. Okay, yeah. oh, look at this. No, there's, it just, that's all there is. So either there's another shop here in town, because people kept telling me I could get better interior parts. It doesn't look like there is 
many parts for my car. So uh, there's an interior shop around town here, or I've been lied to. So let's go take a wander around town. I'll leave the truck where it is. I don't see any other buildings. The only other building potentially is that one, but it looked empty on the inside. Maybe it was just... Maybe it was just me, and I couldn't see it. Uh, or this big building here. Yeah, this looks empty on the inside. What's this big building, then? This looks like Town Hall or something like that. Yeah, it looks like you can see right through it, too. There's that. Yeah, maybe it's somewhere else. Like, where am I? I'm here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, maybe it's down on the beach. No, that's the junkyard. That's the other shop. There's the shop here. There is a shop way, way, way over here. Maybe that's it, but I guess we'll go with the regular interior. We might as well buy it at home because this is just kind of a waste being down here. Ooh, where's the, where's the building? I'm getting wet. But just interestingly, looking at the map. Yeah, there's one shop over here, so we'd have to go on quite the adventure to get there. And I'm not sure... Like, I don't show up on the map, so that's a little bit disconcerting if I get lost. So maybe next time we'll go there, but until then, we'll go put a regular interior in my car. I don't feel like hauling parts home in the rain. Ah, buddy, you got a hole in your building. All right. <laughs> Good times. All right, so let's go home. Screw this. Uh, it's all wet in here. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Oof. Okay, start this up. Start our second gear. Axel, let's head home. It's like a one-way street. I'm driving over all the, the curbs and stuff. Light's green. I'm going through. Looks like they're going to be adding something here. Yeah, it's a nice drive, though. But definitely we're going to have to go to the other place. There's that one store I don't think I've ever been to, so... What are going to gas mod this thing gets with the six-cylinder in it? Probably not great. Also, I don't have a radio in this thing, I just realized. Not that I need it. I rarely listen to, the, listen to it while I'm driving. We're doing 140, though. It's not bad. Probably a little faster than we should be going. Oh, no. Oh, God. Yes, it loaded something there. Oh, no. Oh, because that's when you spin out of control and you hit something. Well, I haven't seen any other cars. They are out here, though. I still think being able to own the gas station and having customers come in and then, like, giving them gas would be nice. Especially if you could hire an employee to do it while you were working at the garage. Just about hit that. I don't know. This engine works pretty good in this. It's not fast, but it, you know, it does. It's a truck and it does the job. So I can't really argue with it too much.
It does, it is pulling to the right a little bit for some reason. I wonder what that's all about. Did I bend something? You see when I break, it pulls to the right? Yeah. I don't like that. And here we are, home again, home again, jiggity jig. Make sure there's no traffic, I don't want to get hit. Whoa, stop! Okay. And off you go. Yeah, so I don't think we're going to be able to do that, but we can at least get the interior in it. Woo! What a miserable day. I love it. I love a good rainy day. All right, let me see here. So I guess we're going with the standard interior for now. There's our wrench. Bring this over here because we're going to need that. So we need two door cards. So let's see. Door panel F100. Here we go. Left door, right door. Sun visor, sun visor. Headliner. And I guess just a, uh, a right seat. Well, it was cheaper than I thought. Whoa. Let's go put this in. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I got to take out the mirror, don't I? I don't think you can install it with the mirror in place. Okay. Ooh, there we go. All right, that works. I don't think that has to be zipped down or anything. Put the mirror back in. Or not, that's cool too. We can just it can just not go in. That's that's awesome. That's the interior. Okay, it must it must go down somehow. Not what I asked for. Not what I asked for. Okay, we'll just do that instead. All right, cool. All righty. Is there a, is there a bolt or something to hold this in? I don't, I don't see any. I'm hoping that the mirror just holds it in. Okay, apparently, this will not go back in with this thing in place. Why is that? Okay, this is getting really weird here. Did, did I, am I missing something? There's got to be a, a bolt or a... Something to hold this in place? Oh, finally. Holy crap. Screwdriver, please. Okay, quick. Just got to tighten. We don't want to loosen. Tighten. There. Now you can't come off, jerk. All right. Put this... Uh, Passenger seat in. Bloop. Okay, so anybody wants to come on an adventure, I am free. Now that I have passenger seating. Mm. Oh, I just moment didn't get that one. Come on, I know you're back there. Fudge. Okay, I hate these ones you can't quite get to. There we go. All right. So there's that. That works. That works. Okay. That one there. Oh, these are probably screws, aren't they? Get this and then. Okay. 
Perfect. Oh, wait a minute. I probably had to buy the proper side one, didn't I? Oh, no. That's fine. All right. Excellent. Come on. Ugh. Oh, I can't reach it. Okay. Oh, oh no. Got it. All right. There we go. And then the door cards, right? Which door card are you? This this door card? Oh, nice. Okay. So where's your where's your where's my wrench? These are usually wrenched on. So let's see here. Um, does, does this not need to be wrenched on? How do we get it off then? Is, oh, is that a pry bar job now? Let me just see. Oh yeah. Look at that. Boop. Okay. No problem. Just a pry bar job now. Nice. I like that. And there we go. Look at that. Interior's in. It's not a bad color interior for the color of the truck. Now, the question then becomes, can I put a five-speed in here for the fuel savings? Like, so I get that overdrive gear it would be great. I think, at least I think it would be great. But it doesn't really need it at the moment. Um, let me see here. Uh, just, just go to all cars. Inline six. Is there any performance parts for the inline six engine? I should look here. Okay, so we got a regular distributor. Thermostat. I don't think there is. Yeah, but there is a, a five speed. So there's the four. A five speed just would be great. That might be our next project before we head out to uh, wherever we're going. We're going to need to make a grand. Well, we can sell it off for probably a couple hundred bucks, but it's going to be at least a grand to uh, get that done. So, but I think she's looking pretty good. I think, uh, what the, I like that sound. Okay. I think it looks pretty good. So thank you so much for watching. I, I, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, hope you liked it as much as I did recording it. If you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. Wait a minute. I forgot to put the Somebody told me about these. Now I remember this in the comments. Out.